Hello everyone and thank you for joining us on session 9 of Microtech Canada's Toddler Tutorials. This is the fourth and last episode of the setup of our MTCNA Home Lab Network. In this video, we'll be configuring the LAN connection between the trainee router and the trainee laptop. With this tutorial, as you can see on the network diagram, you will effectively complete the last section of our MTCNA lab. To establish this LAN connection, We'll connect to the trainee router with Mac Winbox since, if you recall, we reset our routers at the very beginning and wiped the default configurations. Since we haven't set a DHCP server on the class access point, we'll make the configurations manually. So, we'll first go to the IP menu and the addresses submenu to add a new address for this router's Ether 1. Based on our diagram, the address of the LAN network between the trainee router and PC is 192.168.10/24. Therefore, we'll input the corresponding address of 192.168.1.254/24 for the first Ethernet port of the router that is connected to the PC. Next, we need to define a default gateway for the router. Here's why. If you refer to the IP menu and the route submenu, you can see that we already have two connected routes, which are the 10.000/24 route from WLAN 1 to the class access point and the 192.168.10/24 from Ethernet 1 to the trainee PC. However, if any requests are transmitted outside these two routes, we need to refer that request to our default gateway. In this network, the default gateway for R2 is the class access point or R1. Therefore, for the destination address of 0000/0, which equals any IP address, the gateway should be 10.0.0.254. Simply click on the gateway field and input the corresponding value. Once you click apply, you'll see that the gateway is reachable from WLAN 1 to the class AP. Now, if you remember from the definition of the DHCP client on Microtix Wiki, the DHCP client accepts four types of information, namely an address, a netmask, a default gateway, as well as two DNS servers. We already have our address and netmask, and we just set our default gateway. Now, we need to add our DNS servers. So, we refer to the IP menu and the DNS submenu and input the two DNS servers of 10.0.0.254 and 8888 as our router's DNS servers. The next step is to make the necessary configurations on our laptop. For this purpose, simply open the start menu and type view network connections and click the relevant menu to access the available network connections. Here, double click on the corresponding network connection to the router and click on properties. In the new window, find the internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 for short and open its configurations by double-clicking on that row. Here, you also need to put in the corresponding DHCP client information manually based on the information of the network diagram. Therefore, choose the manual input setting first. Now begin by typing in the corresponding IP address for the trainee PC, which is 192.168.1.1. The subnet mask will be generated automatically. The address 255.255.255.0 is the corresponding dotted decimal subnet mask for the PC network address of 192.168.10/24, which is written based on the CIDR or classless interdomain routing notation. Next, type in the default gateway for the trainee PC, which is 192.168.1.254. And finally, type in the preferred DNS server address that is 192.168.1.254. Apply the settings by clicking on OK on the top two windows. Here, if you click on Details, you should be able to see and review the information you just put in for your network connection to the trainee router. In case everything has been configured correctly, you should be able to connect to the trainee router via your PC with the newly assigned IP address. To check this, Refresh your neighbor list in Winbox. The trainee router, which did not have an IP address previously, has now been assigned one. Simply click on the IP address of the trainee device and establish an IP Winbox connection to your router. As you can see, the IP address works fine and easily connects to the trainee router. 
and we're done. The LAN connection between the trainee router and laptop is now established and we have set up the final part of this home lab network. Thank you for joining us. Write your questions in the comments section and subscribe to our channel for upcoming tutorials. Take care and goodbye.